The United States Senate is moving closer to authorizing expanded surveillance powers. The upper chamber advanced a bill Thursday night to reauthorize Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA. Lawmakers will consider amendments today before taking a final vote on passage. Section 702 is a foreign intelligence authority, meaning it's supposed to be used to collect data belonging to people overseas. But it's controversial because during that overseas collection, spies also incidentally collect Americans' data, which is then stored in these massive databases. And the problem then becomes law enforcement agents can search those databases of Americans' communications without first having to obtain a warrant. Reformers promised that they'd add a warrant requirement before the program was reauthorized, but spy hawks in the House defeated an amendment to do that. Not only that, they also expanded the sorts of entities that can be compelled to turn over digital communications to U.S. spies. Here's what Senator Ron Wyden said in a statement this week about the House passed reauthorization. Quote, It allows the government to force any American who installs, maintains, or repairs anything that transmits or stores communications to spy on the government's behalf. That means anyone with access to a server, a wire, a cable box, a Wi-Fi router, or a phone. Wyden called it, quote, one of the most dramatic and terrifying expansions of government surveillance authority in history. Senator Dick Durbin is pushing for a vote that would add a limited warrant requirement on Section 702 searches. The White House and intelligence agencies, however, are reportedly lobbying against it. The surveillance authority expires at midnight, and spy hawks in the Senate are using that looming deadline to discourage their colleagues from trying to amend the bill in any way to protect the privacy rights of Americans. Senator Mark Warner, the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, said in a floor speech, quote, I understand that some of my colleagues would like to amend the House passed bill and continue the process of debate and negotiation. Listen, there are things I'd like to change in the House bill as well. The choice before us as we think about amendments, this is the case, is pass this bill or allow 702 to sunset. Well, that's an easy choice. Let it sunset. Next. In fact, the law actually doesn't fully sunset at midnight. As The Verge reported, the court that oversees FISA surveillance has already granted a one-year extension of the authority as it applies to ongoing investigations. So there really isn't an emergency here at all. That's just a scare tactic to ram the bill through. And one final thing to note here, the House passed reauthorization also contained a provision that protects members of Congress from warrantless surveillance. It stipulates that they be notified before the feds conduct any Section 702 searches for their communications. Of course, that same courtesy is not extended to the rest of us.